You can never push our dreams too far That's why we never like being a star Hi guys. Um oh, you know what we should do? We should get this stupid thing. She's gonna look all naked. Personally don't think she should have this anymore. I'm trying to grow it back, so it's put dead. my dead plant back. <laughs> it's not <all> dead. <laughs> Yo, look. <laughs> it's skinny just like him. And he's still alive. But I look way better. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Yo, this don't look like it was on Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> you look like you were Night Before Christmas. <laughs> you, you couldn't even say it right. Look at you. <laughs> Can't even say the joke right. Can't even say the joke Nightmare right. Nightmare Before Christmas, ugly. Whatever. Hey, guys. Uh, we're the Thomas Clan. Um, Kenny, Josie. Um, and we wanted to kind of talk about uh, marriage. Marriage. I know a lot of people see... Um, us on online how beautiful our family is um, and I know a lot of people probably wonder how um, we're so strong and keep you know things together and really it, it just comes from a lot of be outside comes from a lot of um, trials, tribulation, um, a lot of mistakes, learning from those mistakes and trying to overcome those mistakes. Um, you know, so today I, I think I want to talk about, um, you know, the arguments, the things that people don't really see like that. You know what I mean? Because <laughs> this one right here got an attitude. Oh, no, keep it straight. Attitude, attitude, attitude. You know, but um, I'll be, you know, I'll I, 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 I start it off and then she's probably going to go in. But I feel like, um, it, it, and I'm speaking for the fellas, you ever feel like your wife or your significant other just be ODing? Like, maybe not even ODing, but just the escalation of the argument doesn't need to go to the peak. You know what I'm saying? It could be at a at a nice tone, like yo, I know I messed up, but I ain't gotta be this, and I ain't gotta be that, and I ain't gotta be this, and I ain't gotta be that, and everything under the sun. You know what I mean? Like, I feel that in marriages, fellas, I'm gonna I'm gonna help you out here. Take the time to understand your mistake quickly. Um, be aware of it. Try and put your ego to the side to um, alleviate some of that ex extra added pressure that's going to come to you if you try and, like, you know, boss up so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, try to, like, you know, compress the situation as quickly as possible um, because you don't really want all that heat. You know what I mean? I'm telling you, like, you don't, you don't really want all that heat. And it's, like, it's not healthy for you. Um, I know a lot of, a lot of men probably, they want to feel like that they're the boss and, and things of that nature and I get it you know at times where there's been times where I got you know to my tipping point you know what I'm saying and I try to um, calm the situation down and it didn't go that, that route because she because Josie may have felt you know a certain type of way so my suggestion um, is to first be self aware be aware of who you are be aware of how you came across in the situation and um, to, to compress it and push that down because you don't really want it to, to linger throughout the whole day. Um, I'm going to let Josie talk, but ladies, I'm going to say this, okay? If your man does do that, also, I feel that you should be aware. 
that he's trying to 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 apologize or understand what he did wrong in the situation uh, and to not um, you know take it to the next level and continue to dumb down your feelings you know what I'm saying or how you feel about the situation if he's trying you know understand and see before and don't take advantage of that you know what I'm saying like don't take advantage of like oh he being soft it's not him being soft we just not really trying to go there for real for real you know, so try to understand where he's coming from at, at first before taking it to the next level. If if you really truly feel that it's it's sincere, and fellas, you got to be sincere about it. You got to be genuine about it. It can't be nothing fake. It can't be nothing that's like, oh, I'm just gonna say this or whatever, just so you don't feel like hearing about it. You really gotta know that you did something wrong, and 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 move on from there. You know what I'm saying? What you feel, babe? <laughs> I do get a little bit feisty in our arguments. But a lot of the reasons is because if it's something that like we went through before, like I asked you not to do or to do, or I feel like I got to repeat myself over and over, it gets annoying. I don't, it's annoying to have to repeat myself over and over with something that I like asked you or talked to you about before. So, I am trying to control my temper, but sometimes it is hard. There's Javion. <laughs> Go. Peace out. So, it is a little difficult for me um, to keep, like, my composure because I do be snapping. Sorry, babe. But... After I realize it, I mean, I don't have a problem being like, my bad, I was wrong, I'm sorry, and fix it. But I know that I have to, like, think about the situation, even if it's something so small and it's not that deep. Like, sometimes it don't even have to be that that serious, like the argument or the conversation. It don't have to be that deep. I could just, it could be just a small conversation and move past it. So it is something that I am working on. But. Yeah. <laughs> to elaborate on that, people that are in couples, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, and just people in general, like, you don't, you don't even got to be in a couple. Just in, in any walk of life or whatever, like, time is your most valuable commodity. We've had arguments that last a full day. I think that's unnecessary. You know what I'm saying? Un unnecessary. Like <laughs> the whole day though. <laughs> <laughs> the whole day. It's because <laughs> one thing, like if we if we start arguing about this and then it's like Well, since we're already in the heat of the moment, might as well bring this up and that up and then this little thing just turn into this big thing yeah man arguments be like 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 a mustard seed and then once you water it it grows to like the biggest tree ever you know what i'm saying like it, in that's what for marriage is what we want you guys to understand you don't want that you, and all that anger um brings on more pain into your relationship and if you don't have god inside you know what I'm saying? It could get real, real testy for you. For real, for real. It can get to a level where you really don't um, want to be at. You know what I'm saying? Like, it could lead to other things that is um, ungodly. I believe that if we didn't have God in our life, that we probably wouldn't be talking right here, right now, to be honest. Um, I think the fact that we do have God in our life and we're able to talk about it so openly and with one another... You know what I'm saying? It helps us, and it's help. I know it's helping you guys as well too. And being and seeing what what we've already been through, you guys are seeing firsthand. Like our lives are pretty much out there right now. So we're like, yo, like let's just continue to give them, you know, as much knowledge as we have. And as we grow, we want to be able to give you guys that stuff. But like I said, time, time, time is your most valuable commodity. So 
Yeah. And when you go to look at it, like after that whole day is over of disagreements, you look back and be like, what? What was we arguing about in the first place? Like, yeah. what started the argument? Yeah. Like, and then when we think about it, it's like that is so dumb. But honestly, I feel like personally, sometimes it's a lot of stuff that's built up, and it might not even be towards him. It could be something else, like the kids, or like something going on in like a per- my personal life or whatever that's like affecting me or bothering me. Whether I've talked to him about it or not. It could just be something built up or bottled up that I'm frustrated about. Something totally different that has nothing to do with him. But yet, he ends up getting the wrath because he's my best friend. He's my husband. He's the one that's there. You know, and no, it's not fair, but... It sure ain't fair. I'm sorry. (laughs) Yo, it could be the, the craziest, like the kids, like our boys... Javion and Caleb, like, they argue back and forth all day long. Like, all the time. Like, they love each other so much. It's, but they they fight every day over everything. Like, who's pitching um, when they go outside and play baseball? Well, who's batting? Or who, who's doing this? Who's doing that? And then it's always an issue. And a lot of times, I may be out running around, and Josie's taking care of the house, or I'm out, you know, working, whatever, and they're getting on her nerves. So then I call in, and be like, hey, what's going on, babe? These kids, da 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 and I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and then from there, I could probably say one thing wrong, I may take her off, and then it's a wrap after that. And I'm like, yo! <laughs> but, ladies, you know... Try to. This is coming from another man, and I and I hope the fellas feel me on this. Try to make sure that you know every man, you know, does not. They we as men we don't like to be dishonored by our women, and when we feel that you're you're taking it to another level where you don't have to, then it's like it it makes men say things or do things that they don't want to, because as a man we get into this mode. Where it's like you're not gonna punk me, period. Like that's just the best way I could I could put it. You just not gonna punk me, like you my lady and everything. But you what you not gonna do is talk to me however you want. So then this, then the, then the conversation get to another level, right? And then y'all start crying and stuff and be like, why are you talking to me like that? But you initiated, you know, that type of action, you know, from a man and or from your man. So. For you, for your own benefit, although men do stupid things, we do. And I do admit, like, I do things over and over again. Like, I be forgetting. Like, I got a forgetful mind. So, I'm being open and honest about that. And it's not like I do it on purpose. I, it, I just be... I just be moving. But... But... At the same time, you know, we all human. And I'm pretty sure, women, there are certain things that you do repeatedly that men don't like either. So don't act like you don't do the same thing over and over again. You know what I mean? <laughs> she looking at me like I'm crazy. But but no, like I I just feel that it, it should be um it goes it goes both ways and and try to give each other that respect. Men try your hardest to to suppress a situation as quickly and as fast as possible for your own benefit. Anything else? Nope. Anything for the ladies? Just you don't have to snap about everything. Be snapping, yo. Don't be snapping. Think about it before you speak. It's not that deep. That's what you got selfie sticks for. <laughs> right, write in your journal or something. <laughs> let out the anger in your journal. Cause you gotta let it out. You have to let it and out. Don't be putting it on Facebook. Don't be putting it on Facebook. Don't Facebook is on... not a journal. Chill. If it's your best friend and it's your man, you know, come to him about that or her to, to about you know about that. Men too. Some of y'all men, y'all be. I don't even talk to a best friend about anything deep like that. Yeah, like, yeah. Some of y'all men be don't be don't be up on social media like yo my girl and da 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 like yo come on man, don't do that. Then you just airing out you know who you who you truly are at the end of the day. Feel me? So yeah. So yeah, we're gonna end it right there for the day. Uh, Thomas Clan, we got another. If you got any topics. 
anything that you want us to talk about as a married couple or as a couple period or a couple that's aspiring to be married um you know put them in the comments below let us know what you think um and share this video comment subscribe hit that bell and yeah you can never push your dreams too far that's why we never